Sabahatina says, Brother, people have took out halal nail polish. Can you explain it? Because nail polish to me is haram. What about halal nail polish? Every girl wears, uh, wears do wudu, but to me it doesn't get water through. People say halal nail polish. Now, I have never worn nail polish, so I have no idea about this halal nail polish. Um, yeah, so not my cup of tea, guys. I don't really wear that kind of stuff. As for, is there such a thing as a halal nail polish? Let me give you the principle and then you can go away and apply that principle because I don't actually know. Um, I don't actually know about the halal nail polish or what it is. But if that nail polish, okay, if it stops water from getting to your nails, uh, when you need to make wudu, then it is impermissible to wear that nail polish if you cannot take it off. But if you wear the nail polish, right? And then you are able to take it off before when, when you need to make wudu, then that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Um, but of course, be aware that we shouldn't beautify ourselves in the presence of non-mahrams. Uh, well, that, for women anyway, they shouldn't beautify themselves in the presence of non-mahram. Um, but if you do that for your husbands and in the presence of your mahrams and you wear nail polish or you're only among other sisters, other women, then that's fine. But you must make sure that you are able to take it off in order to make wudu. If there is certain things like if you have mehendi, uh, which is henna, if you put henna on your fingernails, that doesn't stop. That's a dye. It's not like nail polish where it's glossy and it stops the nail coming, uh, the water getting to your skin or to your nails. Um, but mehendi, it doesn't stop that. Hina, it doesn't stop water. So that is permissible. It's a dye. It doesn't stop water coming to your skin. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Elian Evangelista. Sheikh, I am from Brazil. Wow, South America. And I was born in Brazil. Um, I have uh, Christian family. I am the only Muslim, alhamdulillah. My family is Christian and likes to tease me with bad things. How should I deal with them from my family? Um, firstly, mashallah, I'm really, really happy to hear that you became Muslim. Um, all the way from Brazil, I would love to hear your story. Let me know in the comments how you accepted Islam. Just even a small kind of brief description. It would be really amazing. Um, Although you don't have any family in Brazil, do, are there any masajid, are there any mosques that you can go to, that you can get in touch with the brothers and sisters from that area? Try and get in touch with a masjid in your area. If you don't know anyone, send me a message, uh, a private message on Facebook, and I will try and find someone to the best of my ability in that area, or at least somewhere in Brazil who can help you, inshallah. With regards to your question, about uh, being the only Muslim in the family and your Christian family is teasing you about your religion, maybe mocking you. Listen carefully. For everything that they say, inshallah, you will be getting rewarded for that. Right? And every time you are patient, try and give them da'wah with your patience and knowledge. Seek knowledge about Islam and how to give them da'wah and show good character, right? Don't respond with the, uh, you know, with, with their mocking, with also mocking them back. Don't do that. It may be tempting, but don't do that. What I want you to do, um, can, can you make sure my ethernet cables and the things come out from my computer and on that side as well? The light's not on. Huh? Yeah, so it's probably, you, you probably took it out. No, it's in. Yeah, okay, try that side, please. It might be on that side. You probably took it up. Okay, so... Um, yeah, so make sure that you are patient, okay? If you're patient with them, show good manners, display, uh, you know, display a good character and be a good example for them so that, inshallah, they can look at your character and hopefully they will also take admonition and make lots of dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also.